The Arctic region is quite flat and close to sea level in many places. To the far north are mountains covered in glaciers. The Arctic region lies far enough north that few trees or plants grow there. Due to extremely cold temperatures, the ground in most of the region remains frozen the entire year. This is called permafrost. Permafrost is tens of meters thick in some locations. The coastal plains, as the name suggests, is quite flat. It is close to sea level and kind of swampy in many places. Watch out for alligators in the south. The northern coastal plains, temperatures range from around zero degrees in the winter to the low 20s Celsius in the summer. The southern coastal plains are warm year-round. In places like Florida, you can hit the beach any month of the year, no problem. The Canadian Shield is U-shaped, stretching from Labrador in the east to the Great Lakes in the south and around Hudson Bay and James Bay to the interior plains in the west. If there is one thing the Canadian Shield has, it's lots of rocks. Big ones, small ones, stones, boulders, they're everywhere. Lakes and rivers, too. Chances are they are covered on the bottom with rocks as well. The St. Lawrence Lowlands is made up of two sections, the area along the St. Lawrence River and the area around the Great Lakes. St. Lawrence section gradually slopes downward to the river. Roll a marble and chances are it won't stop until it gets wet. Great Lakes section is a bit more of a roller coaster. There are flat parts, hills, and valleys that have been carved up by rivers, up and down like a yo-yo. The Appalachian region stretches from Canada's Atlantic provinces in the north to Alabama and Georgia in the south. There are a lot of mountains in the Appalachian region. These were once very high and pointy, but are now much lower with rounded edges and gentle slopes. So if you're looking for a good brisk hike without the risk of altitude sickness or the fear of falling off a sheer rock face, this is the region for you. If you like heights and climbing like a mountain goat, try somewhere else like the Western Mountain region. The interior plains covers most of the Canadian prairie provinces and the central portion of the United States. Most people think this region is pancake flat, but it isn't. There's a gentle slope to the land, and there are plenty of hills and deep river valleys, just for good measure. The intermountain region sits in the shadows of the big mountains on either side of it. It is the flat before the steep, the low before the high. Millions of years ago, Enormous chunks of land collided with each other at high speed and were forced up and down, in and out, in all kinds of crazy angles. This created the Western Cordillera, a region of high, rugged mountains and deep trenches. The Western Cordillera runs the length of the Pacific coast of North America, from Alaska to Mexico.